Oh, it's horrendous. So enjoy it. What is the second thing? Uh, multiple POV, 24 hours, fantasy thriller. Uh, but also uh, the other thing is I have forgotten. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel, where we discuss everything story, coffee, and writing related things. This story is about a group of characters. There are some, there are somewhat morally grey characters, and we follow them around. And the events that unfollow, what's the word? The, the events that unfold throughout the course of the story will be probably catastrophic for our main characters, but incredibly fun to write or read, at least for me. The events that unfold will be catastrophic, big in scope, but it will happen in the span of one day or 24 hours. I'll basically be finishing up outlining the plot, finishing up Act 1 and heading into Act 2, and I'll do the old-fashioned case of still following my characters around with a little bit of discovery writing and character development, understanding their positions and stations within the city. You know, I want people to really get to know these characters and to sit with them for a very long time. And each character is a pivotal within the city itself. So these are characters that are not from the ground up, already in the position of power, giant now. And then we see everything crumbling down quite beautifully. So this is why I want to really write a multiple POV story. Really exciting. Uh, but also uh, the other thing is I have forgotten what I wanted to say. Um, what is the second thing? Uh, multiple POV, 24 hours, multiple characters, each one interesting with their own power dynamics, obviously. They're, oh yes, and of course, it is a fantasy thriller. Two things I love. But, Writing a fantasy is a little bit difficult on its own, and writing a thriller is a different kind of headache of plotting backwards. And so I've decided I'll plot forwards up until mid or pre or beginning of act two, and when I get somewhere before the promise of the premise or somewhere around there, I'm gonna go back and start plotting backwards. If I discover a book that I know in the long term I'm gonna li like eventually, but I really don't like the whole first book, I will, in the end, do the most blasphemous thing imaginable. I will read the second, or even worse, the third book in a series. In this case, it is Brandon Sanderson, Hero of Ages. <laughs> it's horrendous. So enjoy it. So, the first book, I'm like, I read a few pages and I know I won't vibe with it completely. No, it's gonna take me a long time to get into the book and I might give up, you know, abandon it completely. And I know, you know, it's gonna get better. So this is my way of um, giving the author the benefit of the doubt. And so I pick up the second or third book in the series, I know I'm gonna love it, 
and after finishing it, I eventually um, go back to the first book and read everything together. So, I guess in summary, this is like chaotic reading, devil incarnate reading app. And something that might just piss off a lot of people, but I don't care. My thing is, read the books in the way you want to read them. <laughs> in what order? Then just enjoy it. It's all that matters. preparing, reading my notes uh, for a little bit of a writing session and basically I need to write a little bit of a celebration event that's happening. After each of the characters has been introduced and you have seen them in their station and how their daily life looks like, we are all leading up to this celebration. Consider the event of Break Into Two that will lead into fun and games, or what I like to say. I prefer the name Promise of the Promise. I prefer that one, so that's more fun. It needs to have a lot of bit of uh, lore about the city, the background. This usually doesn't have to happen, but this is one part thriller and one part fantasy, so kind of need to combine these two things, but only like snippets of it, like uh, sprinkled in details about the world. But what I really want to focus on, this is, this is the part of the story we would consider in a thriller to be like, oh, the first signifiers of darkness, that something might be off, that later on will be revealed as, oh, there were signs, we knew. And act three, everything falls apart completely. It will probably be a lot of influence of uh, eldritch horror. Maybe some rituals. I haven't decided, I have a lot of themes and vibes going on. They're currently all mashing around together from Da Vinci, Leonardo Da Vinci, Renaissance, uh, the influences of Rome and Greek ancient cultures all mashing together with some Victorian era vibe of the city or something else. Everything is open right now. It's, it's the discovery writing phase, the zero draft, anything and everything can go in this phase. And then after that, draft one is when we start revising the influences that will truly stick with this story. But after I've said that, off to the writing. Thank you for watching. Bye!